Hello and welcome to episode 9 of Toon Toon Black and White Army. So today we were going to bring you a game against Arsenal. We'll talk through any transfers that we've done. There have only been a couple of transfers out and we'll have a look at how the season has gone so far. So, enough talking. Let's get into it. I thought I'd start with a wee surprise, as you as you saw there. So, Steve has managed to fail upwards once again. Now we've started at the page of Callum Wilson. So, as you'll remember, last year he got thirty-five league goals in the season, one away from tying Newcastle's all-time record in the top division. So, how has he started this season? The eagle-eyed might have seen it at the bottom of the screen there, but five goals in three games. He now has. 40 league goals in 41 league appearances, which is stupendous, really, let's be honest here. People told me before starting the game he's overpowered, but this is probably the most consistent I've had a striker play for me in years and score, um, particularly a, a striker in the, the start of the game. I've had a couple of regens that have maybe done it, but I've never quite had this performance out of a real life player in the game at all. So, he's been doing well. What about the rest of the team? So, if we just take out our friendlies, as you can see, our friendlies went pretty well. Um, a loss against Atletico Madrid when we tried something different, but overall, good wins. Wins against Ajax, AZ and Roma were the kind of the highlights. But if we take those out... <clears throat> so, I left you just before the Brentford game, where we won 4-1. Um, early goals from Char and Lascelles before late goals rounded up what had turned into a bit of a nervy game with uh, their goal to bring it back to 2-1 from Wilson and Hotik on his debut. Um, a 5-2 win against Aston Villa, which is a bit of a rivalry. Goals for us from Callum Wilson got two, Alaron got two and Latomba got his first goal. He also picked up an injury in training after knowing the look. Either in training or in the Liverpool game, so he'll be missing for a few weeks. Um, Forsberg and Watkins um, scored for Aston Villa. Exciting game, uh, made better by the fact Callum Wilson missed a penalty on the second in the second minute, sorry, and then Forsberg scored in the sixth. So I thought it was all going wrong. We then had a three-three game against Liverpool. Again, great entertainment. Maybe I've made a mistake. Well, no doubt have a nil-nil draw against Arsenal. Um, goals for us, Alan St Maximan and Callum Wilson with a double, including a 91st minute um, equaliser for us, took a share of the spoils. So overall, that leaves us in second behind Liverpool, who have played um, in the early kickoff today, um, thumping Norwich 5 0, as is tradition. Um, so Arsenal, as you can see there, down in fifth, have played 2 1, have 1 2, lost 1. So, their loss came in the North London Derby, a 3-1 loss away to Spurs, and their wins, two 5-0 wins against Chelsea and Manchester United. At home. And we play them at the Emirates. Two games, 10 goals scored, none conceded. Well, let's see what we can do here. Um, as you can see, Manchester United have started horribly. Um, as have Southampton. Man you have lost against Arsenal Liverpool, to be fair. Two difficult games. And then a 2 2 draw against Fulham. Meh. Um, however, let's see how they progress. So we will have a look. Oh, I said I'd have a look at transfers. So, as I say, nothing too interesting has happened since we last met. No further transfers in. Um, Keelan Watts, who is one of our youth team um, on loan at Dundee United, hopefully uh, he'll have a good season. Uh, we got f rising up to £5 million uh, for Jacob Murphy, considering he had a pretty poor to bang average season for Bournemouth last year. I'm not too displeased about that. And then a loan for Paul Dummett. 
they're covering some of most of his wages i think um and they're giving us a little money on top of that so not too displeased about that paul is a player that's come into the office about three or four times in the last season always saying that he wants to leave for a new challenge and then when you start the dialogue with him he changes his mind so but he'd played three league games last season yeah three league games last season and he'd played a further six in the cup so not exactly a starter but got him out on loan hopefully he will get some first team games so we will have a look at the tactic and the squad going into the arsenal game so here is the team going into the arsenal game um, so we have Dubravka in goals, Lewis and Mankiw in the wing back positions, Anderson, Lascelles and centre half, Aiden in front of the back four, McCrory, Pineda, and Maximan, Almiron in midfield with Callum Wilson up top. Now we've made a few changes to the tactics, normally we start positive and we normally play sort of standard passing, um, pass into space, hit early crosses, that kind of thing to just get the ball in the box. However we've tweaked it so we've gone a bit shorter in our passing focus and play through the middle and shoot on sight arsenal are yet to concede a goal at home we want to try and retain some of the ball if we can um we're still keeping passing to space because we're still playing with a bit of a um lower line so try and draw arsenal out and um, but we've dropped our defensive line back to standard we normally play a wee bit higher as well and what else have we done oh yeah so we've gone from a counter press to regroup i think we counter press we'll maybe just be pulled out of position um and distribute to oh well, not center backs we we'll distribute to full backs just to try and retain some of the ball from goal kicks so uh lewis cook has had a difficult start to his newcastle career in, in competitive games a 6.4 average rating no output really yet um, although he had played in that role and played very well two goals four assists in friendly so Hopefully it's just a wee bit of a rough patch. So Orbelan Pineda comes in. Um, not done much better, but he's only had one sub appearance. So give him a chance. Um, Almiron and St Max Man are both wanted, but they're wanted by Southampton. Haven't really given Adam Armstrong a run out. Arsenal technically are a former, former team, so we'll bring him on with the hope that we can at least maybe nick a goal. Um, with the scoring against your former club gods. So we will bring you back when the teams are walking out. Here come the teams. Um, Arsenal still managed by Mikel Arteta have signed John Stones in uh, centre back. They've also signed Memphis Depay, uh, Hakan Chananoglu and they've got a player Nandez who I'm not too sure who he is to be honest. That just maybe shows my lack of football knowledge. So already Arsenal are having plenty of shots on target. And Almiron has, or plenty of shots on goal, sorry, and Almiron has picked up an injury. Just do the straight swap. And we'll pump our fists. Didn't do anything. I was contemplating there an early introduction for, for Adam Armstrong. No highlights so far, which I'm happy about considering Arsenal yet to concede a goal so far at home and they've scored 10 in two games so Arsenal with the throw in, Bellerin now, Hayden heads clear, Pineda doesn't go for it uh, out to Saka, Dubravka saves well work there by Arsenal Crystal Palace have won 2-0 up against Spurs, Chernoglu with the corner <laughs> Jaka now Hayden kind of wins the ball, but we have it cleared. <clears throat> thought that might be a penalty there. It didn't seem to be going anywhere. If we can get to half time, nil nil, or even just one nil down, we are going to go for it a wee bit more than second half. Well, hey, we've had a shot. So we've been struggling to get into the game. However, I'm fairly happy with that. Oh. So we are going to, oh, I forgot to look at analytics. Uh, you weren't that bad. You weren't that bad. So. Having clearly not looked at analytics, I'm just going to put that on mixed. I'm going to put our pass and directness up a bit more. And 
Now, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to put that on back to where that was and try and get us up a pitch a bit more. Really going to push up more yet. Do, 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 do. Nobody is really doing well there, so we're going to change you to you, that to that, sorry, and we're going to change that to that. And in order to make the balance a bit better, do, 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 do. let's go with you start second half tweaks to the system not really based on anything other than vibes but had a shot earlier on the brand can out if you can't tell i am rolling i'm shaking my head and rolling my eyes after that he had five men in front of him so he could have picked any of them really and we could have at least retained possession a little bit all of that really stemmed from Dubravka just punting the ball into the corner but there was enough pieces of play to do something more than that our midfield are just absent when it comes to clearing the ball up but there we are, we might need to look at a wee tweak right so Max Man is playing woefully. Where are you going back out there, pal? Do 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 So the aim with this is we're just bringing him back. So he's doing the same job, he's just starting a bit further back. Yeah, so we're just starting a bit further back so that hopefully we have some players in this position. We seem to just be absent. I don't know where Pineda's going because I would ideally want him to be kind of sitting in that role and staying to link up with Callum Wilson. So he's disappearing somewhere, probably a bit deep. So I've pushed him up in order to try and maintain somebody up there and... To do, 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 brought McCrory back to maybe cover. That might make us a bit more open. Let's see if it works. It's not really a system we've been playing, so familiarity is going to kick in and bite us on the backside. I feel unless we've got this spot on. Arsenal are just toying with us. Lovely quick passing and a bam I mean, he's quick. I'll give him that, and it was a lovely move. FM really likes to blame the goalkeepers for things that aren't really their fault. But a lovely move, quick one twos, and Keo kind of absent. I would really blame Jamal the Settles that they gave him a free shot on goal, to be honest, but there we are. We look at things differently. Right, Pineda, right, he's actually stayed where I wanted him to. Armstrong now. Can I do something against his former club? Just wide, I thought that was going to sneak in and we were going to get that there. Really, this game is going as you'd expect it. We've really not done anything out wide. No matter who we've played out wide, they've been hopeless today. Right, let's see. We're 2-0 down, so I'm not going to tweak anything. Maybe it's because we've just been missing them. I've been focusing on play through the middle. There's always that opportunity so that we've just missed them out of the game and that's why they've not been playing well. I mean, really, the ball keeps kind of going over our heads in midfield. 3-0. Again, not really his fault, I'd argue. 
Let's have a look. Anyway, stones into Bamiyang. I've kind of forgot to commentate on this. Bamiyang through to Lacazette. Nah, maybe. Nah, actually, that one, I'll maybe agree there. Arsenal just dominated us, really. Took until the second half. But we have not laid a glove on them. You kick it into the corner again, I'm going to be fuming. I mean, I can't fault you because you're on a 7.4, but you're about to probably concede your fourth goal. No, wide. You can see three goals, and every time we've had a set play on a highlight, you've just punted it straight to them. So I'm very upset with you. Really? Can't complain about that. Any of our changes, we failed to get anyone into the game, really. Um, Arsenal dominating the ball. Dominating chances, dominating XG, so pretty much bang on, really. Nothing we did worked. We need to have a look at maybe a plan B when our plan A doesn't work. Maybe I shouldn't have fiddled with the tactics. We were clearly doing all right in other games. Crash our arms because this team do better being shouted at. So what does that do to the table? Well, that uninspired 3-0 loss to Arsenal leaves us in 5th. Seven points from four games. Not too unhappy about that, considering we got a point off Liverpool I wasn't expecting. Really expecting to lose against Arsenal at this point. Um, quite happy with that. Almiron out for five to eight weeks. We can go to the specialist. Around him, although hopefully carefully, because if he's got a broken collarbone, pick the wrong side, that'll hurt. So, Almiron is injured, but we do have depth now out wide. Obviously, we have Ryan Fraser, Adam Armstrong can cover out wide, um, Hojek can cover out wide on the left, and Alvarado can cover out on there. So, quite happy. We're a bit more covered in that area. So, a bit of a disappointing performance there, and apologies, my commentary on the live game kind of got away from me as we started to lose. Um, I haven't quite got used to talking and thinking at the same time. So we are going to come back for a game fairly soon. And we're going to come back for the Dynamo Kiev match. Our first game in the Europa League. The group that we have, we're sort of best friends with Eastern Europe really. Um, I think we should win this group. Dynamo Kiev should really provide the, the main challengers. Um... But we're going to come back for the Dynamo Kiev game. Dynamo Kiev away as a first game in a European competition also has history for Newcastle. Um, the I want to say 2002 season where Newcastle were in the Champions League and the Champions League had the two group stages. Uh, we had a group stage with, I want to say, Dynamo Kiev Ironoid and Juventus and Dynamo Kiev were the first game in that um, spell and we lost it in Kiev. That was the year we went off and lost the first three games and still qualified from the group. Um, the last team to do that until Atalanta did that I think last season. Um, however, has a wee bit of, of nostalgia for me playing Dynamo Kiev away in a European competition. So that's what we're going to come back for. Um, so. We'll play the film game in between, come back for that, and then we'll probably have a longer gap um, before the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching. You got goals, none from us, unfortunately. Um, but hopefully at least the Dynamo Kiev game can maybe be a bit more exciting for everyone. So, again, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in Kiev.